Okay, great. What, what happened yesterday? This conference will now be recorded. Okay, Faizi Liana, yeah. Four Zika come away. Have you come, Nigeria? I have four Zika come, Kareto, Faizi Nile, then. Look, they, uh, they're doing some, yeah, they're playing something, yeah. Fuji is all of a sudden, it is slowed down. Okay, yesterday, uh, uh, yeah, in yesterday's session, we had discussed about the secure and unsecure plugin, and also the querying data with the query attribute, query by expression, as well as fetch XML. Okay, try to uh, uh, remind those classes today. Yeah. Mm, labs. Yeah, yeah. So create a plugin with secure and secure configuration uh, with retrieve message and post event. Okay, then <coughs> create plugin with Query expression, query by attribute, and fetch XML with retrieve and retrieve multiple by using plugin tree, plugin trace logs. Are you? Mm. Right, guys. Today, <coughs> we are focusing on images Okay, images number two, shade variable number three, Impersonation. Okay, so we know uh, why do we need images? We have discussed a couple of uh, scenarios here. Like, for example, when modifying the mobile number of the customer, modifying mobile number of the customer, you got a requirement to maintain logs to maintain logs because if somebody asks tomorrow who modified with whose permission you modified my mobile number have you intimated me then we need to look at the history what's happening so i need to maintain a separate logs when i'm when i'm creating when i'm modifying the number at the same time i need to maintain the logs with previous number and current number with previous time and current time user who modified that i need to track all the records all the details in the logs entity so what is the what is the operation here operation is update operation is update operation is update so before core operation i need to take pre image i need to take pre image after modification i need to take post image i need to take post image and i need to log the details i need to log mobile number before modifying and mobile number after modifying logs mobile number after 
modified or unmodified. I need to maintain these things. <coughs> so before this is pre-image at what stage? Pre-operation stage. Pre-operation. Before, before we are doing the actual core operation, pre-operation, the database will touch. So we will touch the database and we will save the uh, we'll get the mobile number and we will save them. Okay. This is of course post operation. After the core operation, we are going to uh, save the logs. What modification that we did post operation. So this is image concept. You will get an intro question. What is an image? An image is a snapshot of the current record which stores in the memory. Okay. Uh, give me a scenario. Why do we need an image? There are multiple scenarios, out of which one of the scenario is logs, maintaining logs. The data before the core operation, the data after the core operation. And also, sometimes you need to check the data before the core operation. For, I gave one example. Like, there is a case. Case have the different status reasons. What are the different status reasons? New, in progress, uh, in, new, in progress, and then completed, finally closed. So from new to if I go completed, if I go to closed, the system should not allow. The, the steps should be sequential, one after the other. So before somebody, I will go with update, update with image concept. Pre-image, I will check, I will take the current status reason. If the current, I will write the if else logic. If the current status reason is new, then the no, next status reason should be modified status reason should be after new, it should be in progress. If not in progress, I need to revoke the operation. I need to revoke the operation. I need to cancel the operation. I need to throw an error. I need to throw an error. If, in, if any, this is one of the interview questions, guys. I have four plugins. One in one is in pre-operation, and another one is in pre-validation, and one more is in post-operation. In pre-operation, I got an error. So, does the post-operation code execute or not? No. Even pre-validation code also it will revert. It will revert all the steps. If you get if you throw an exception, it it is like a transactional. It is like a transactional. Automatically, it will revert all the steps. It will revert all the steps. Is that one of most of the times the people will lose this scenario? I have a plugin in pre-operation as well as post-operation because of some reason. In pre-operation, the plugin failed. I have thrown an exception. So, is that post-operation will execute or not? How will you control? You know, it will not execute because the Plugin operations will be executed as a transaction. Okay. Either all will be committed or all will be rolled back. All will be rolled back. So these are the two different scenarios. Let us see how it works. Okay. How what is the code and how it works. I'm just checking for the app pre and post image.
okay so here simple in account entity i am taking the image of the telephone number before pre image phone number and after the phone number after the operation the operation here i am going to do is update message is update okay this is a pre and post images pre and post image frankly speaking the code is only four lines of code these are the four lines irrespective of whatever operation that you will do what you are going to do you are going to take the image you are going to take the image of the entity what are the target entity here the target entity is account entity i am going to register this on account entity on account entity i am going to create a pre image entity and post image entity means before the core operation after the core operation and i am i am just reading the telephone number before the core operation after the core operation and finally i am printing the logs trace logs to check what is the pre operation and post operation numbers okay i'll share the code code is simple if you observe one thing almost whatever the code that we are doing everything is based on classes objects casting casting with dot operator x operator if you really practice the programs which i have shared to you in c sharp programming everything is covered here nothing new nothing new everything is as similar as that so let me build this one build succeeded uh, we need to register the plugin on account entity but it is slight different the registering the plugin for the image is slight different it's slight different okay uh, let me go to the plugin registration tool loading images messages Sandosh, uh, carry your credentials. I always send it separately. Check that. Yogesh, Yogesh, you already seen. Good. This weekend I create the credentials. I'm actually uh, a new project is started. I am designing that project. I am architect to that. I am spending a lot of time on that. I am not getting the time. Mm, okay. This weekend, I need to focus on new instances. Okay. 
обрыда. Сандуш обрыд. Hey, you're Yogesh and you named as Santosh and call me as Santosh. Are you Yogesh or Santosh? Santosh. Santosh is Yogesh, Yogesh. Okay, okay. Santosh is another name. Okay. okay. No problem. I, because Yogesh is expelled, that's why I created the within Santosh. Santosh, okay. No problem. Okay. Uh, now we'll register the plugin. Okay. Uh, the image is a little different. Go to the register new assembly. Okay, it's a selected plugin. The plugin registered successfully. We need to create this step. So I will register this on update. Right click, new step, update step, update. Entities account entity, and we can filter the attributes. There's no point of loading all the uh, fields when I know I'm going to update the telephone number. So it will reduce the performance. It will increase the performance. It will reduce the burden on the system. So I'm selecting only one column, telephone one, because that is what I'm going to update. Okay, operation. This plugin should execute. Post operation. Okay, post operation. Actually, it should exit. Let us check. We'll go with post entry both. It will allow it or not. Register new step. Now, I need to add one more step. Register new image. Register new image. And I register new image. I want both pre and post images. The name of the image should give what I have given in the code. I have given here as an image. So I'll get the same one. Image, your name. It is not copied. Image. Alias now also I can give the same or anything else. What what are the attributes that you want to take the image? You want to take the image of only one thing that is telephone number one. If I go if I want I can go for the multiple things. Created on created by same as name or any capital small letters it may be anything it may be anything. Because because should be... you can giving the capital I here the small line also. Telephone one. No, no, no. It's small only, right? This is the car. Yes, and the name. Pre entity images. Image. I this, is this is your ah. choice. You can do okay. anything. It's like as simple as declaring variable. But whatever you have given here should be given here. Both should be the same. Should not change. Okay? Both should be changed. Here, if you do small letter and there, if you do capital letter, then it will fade. Those should be same. Register image. Register image. Okay. I have registered image. I have registered the plugin. Let me refresh and let me test <coughs> on one account entity. Get back to the app. Environment class apps open the sales hub
Sen är det Okay, better I will open it in the new private window. Right click. All these are the caching issues. You need to clear the memory. Okay, this is a private, yeah, private window. Almost we covered 100% concepts of the plugin. Yeah, today is the last day of the plugin. It's up to you uh, how you practice at home. There are so many examples you'll get in the internet for each and every concept. You can search, you can practice it, and you are you will have the, so many uh, YouTube uh, uh, samples where you can. Practice because now you got an idea of all the concepts in the plugins. When you see something on the system um, examples, you can easily catch the things. Okay, so please practice every concept which we discussed at least one to two programs. In interview point of view, you will get almost uh, 15 to 30 percent, minimum 30 percent questions on the plugin itself. If you explain well about the plugins, the people will understand. You are good with technical concepts. This is very important. Okay. Okay. So I opened a test account. Now I'm going to change the mobile number. I'll give 9999999. Okay. So save it. Okay. Now we'll see the logs. Because we are writing the details in the logs, right? So get back to the one settings. Settings. Plugin trace logs. Mm, update. Seven twenty seven. Just now. Update. See, pre image phone number is this one. After change the phone number is this one. Nine 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 nine. So, like this, as for the pro pro project requirement, you can take the snapshots of anything. What is the main advantage of doing this? The main advantage is it will increase the performance. It will increase the performance. If you want to do the same thing without memory concept, what do you need to do? You need to create a duplicate row in the database. You need to create the duplicate row in the database and the new row in the database. Whenever you, you want to update something, you, you first go to the duplicate data. You need to take that old one and again you need to, you need to go to the database and you need to take the new one. So like this, managing two different records in the system and connecting two times to the database and retrieving the data two times from the database, all these are the headaches and it will kill the performance of the application. And you need to write the complex logic for those things. In order to avoid all these things, the image concept will help you. Image concept will help you. So the main object of the image concept is performance and avoiding round trip to the database, avoiding round trips to the database. Multiple times going, connecting, getting the data, all these things. Okay, so that is a, this is called an image concept, pre-image and post-image. Any questions on the images? Hope you got a clear-cut idea, right? Why should we use the image in the plugins? Yes, yes or no? Your response is highly appreciated. Sir, the, uh, this effect only on single app or the all the apps? Anything, anywhere you can use. 
uh, you mean instance yes. app what do you mean by app crm app ah uh, crm app sir overall crm app wherever you are using the plugin wherever you are calling the plugin it will be reflected whether it is a uh, portal whether it is a model driven app whether it is a canvas app it respect you wherever you register the plugin wherever you are calling the plugin there it will be it is entity based not the application based so wherever you are using an account entity it will be reflected whether it is a uh, canvas app or model driven app or portal answer is yes it will be reflected to any app wherever you are using the plugin environments environment to environment then yeah so uh, uh, see where did you register this in class environment so you can't it will not reflect to another environment unless you will connect to the new environment and you will register display the list of available organizations login it will show all available in environments if i connect selected to another environment and if i register the plugin then it will be reflected so based on what are all the environments that you are registered if you register four environments it will work on four environments if you register only for one environment it will work for only one environment it's up to we you we can do at a time sir we can do at a time yeah you Selecting can do at a time. time no no that's not possible you need to register one after the one okay right guys now we will go to the new concept that is shared variable that is shared variable you will get the interview question in different way in the different way how they will ask is i have a data in the pre operation plugin i have a data in the pre operation plugin i want to pass that data to the post operation plugin post operation plugin or i have i have a data with the pre validate plugin okay i want to transfer the data to post operation as well as pre operation how it is possible how it is possible so here we will have the concept called shared variable concept called shared variable the shared variable is a variable where it will provide the data to any stage to any stage between the plugins between the plugins okay so i'll show you how to share the variable how the data will be shared shared variable labs what need to be practice create a plugin with pre and post images to create logs for modification of mobile number mobile number event is post operation and message is update update message you will get the uh, requirement like this in the same way and i will mention the field names entity name everything everything on the document okay this is one requirement and another one create a plugin which checks the status reason status reason in case entity such that it ensures it ensures sequential flow that is create in progress completed closed okay by using imaging concept you should ensure 
the flow of stator region is going sequentially not by jumping the third one is create a shared variable which transfers the data between different pages in a plugin in a plugin that is between pre operation and post operation pre operation and post operation let us see how it works this is also very simple concept very simple concept first we need to see the pre event before uh, having the core operation it need to be executed so pre event okay this is a pre event before having the uh, some core operation which is working with okay. and here what are we doing i'm just querying the data querying the data with mobile number so and so first we need to modify the mobile number with this number i am querying the data after that once i'll get the data uh, what i am doing if i get the output more than one record then this concept is for checking off duplicate mobile number in the system duplicate mobile number in the system when somebody is try to create the mobile number with this number what it will do before it creating a operation this is pre event pre operation what it will do this trace should register on pre operation what it will do it will pick the it will pick the number it will pick the number from the database and you will check for the mobile number what you are going to create if it is already exist in the system then it will share the variable that it is duplicate variable with true duplicate variable with the true so in the post operation in the post operation what it will do in the post operation while it it is going to create or it is going to update the record it will read what we have in the shared variable what we have in the shared variable one minute see here it will check is duplicate true or false is duplicate true or false if if it is true if it is is duplicate is true then what it will do it will set up a new column called duplicate as a is duplicated is duplicated let me first create this column we don't have this column right on a, on account entity what is the entity we are targeting um mm, since we are using the column mobile phone mobile phone let me change this as a telephone one telephone one column name and in the telephone column if somebody try to enter this this number it should throw the it should modify a uh, column as is duplicate we'll create the column we come back to entity mm, this is account entity okay account entity let me create a new column here we can directly do by modifying the record or we need to get back to the our app our dataverse tables this is account entity we have the columns right let me open this go to columns new column uh duplicate contract is single line of text save it actually this should be the flag right it shouldn't be single line of text shit 
with edit. Right, guys. So this is the column. By mistake, I used it as a single line. I will change it now. Huh? In Delhi. Ah, let the mind wrap this up. Okay, data type. Once you create some column, it is very difficult to send the data because it will lose the data. I'll delete it and I will recreate. Okay, click on here. Okay, waste of time. I'll create the new column. I'll make it as is duplicated. Is duplicate contact. I will work with choice. Yes or no. Choice is or no. Okay. Do we have two or false? Choice. You can create orange choice. In simple field. Optional. New choice. True. False. This should be a true value. Being a choice, we need to work with values not specify the true directly is a true value hmm. okay I go. be false or even string also doesn't matter Contact duplicated. Default choice none. Bye bye. Like this. So we created a choice. Either you can use the string. If you are using the string, you can save it as a true string. Otherwise, option. Anyhow, we created two columns. Mm, now we need to publish. And we need to modify the form. Mm, let me get back to the. We'll modify the form and then we'll publish. Go to the forms. We'll add these columns, two columns. Uh, I go to main form. The other columns. So, there are two columns. 
is duplicated no one is fixed down is choice uh, let me load this one i will add just after the phone number now the phone number here yeah i add both the columns this is okay save it publish let it publish get back to solution so we need to take the schema names of the columns because in the coding we will use the schema names so let me search this is one thing this is the schema name i need to copy so here the publisher name is crbbc BBC underscore is duplicated and this is data type option value option value cancel and there is another new underscore this one you underscore to get ready to check the schema name same crbbc underscore new underscore this is string crbbc right so now we added it to the form and everything is fine let me reload and check but actually solution level we need to publish get back to solution publish 
publish all customer issues. Meanwhile, we will change the code. So we are using the column telephone one, right? Also here, telephone one, this is fine. And here, uh, post event, what is the, this is not a contact entity, it should be account entity. And it's not new duplicate. This should be, we'll use a string, this one. CRBC, so schema names are very important. System will identify with schema name, not with the logical name or display name. So it's being a string, I'll make it as is duplicate okay so we are working on account entity even i'm giving the commented code for the optional set practice this later and this should be column name should be what column name should be this one Is a column name and option set value for the true will make it as true right for the true the value is this one this is the value okay true it, according to system this means true I am updating both string as well as option set and we need to remember the number I have given this number. If I enter this value, it should identify as a duplicate with shared variable. With shared variable. Okay. If at all it exists in the system. Okay. Save it. Let me build. Build succeeded. I'll take the path. Go to plugin registration tool, registration, new assembly. Bin, debug. Is assembly. I have two stage, two plugins, pre and post. Okay, it's a shared variable. True. Let me go with. Pre and post. First, I do the pre event. Register new step. 
update. We are going to update account entity. Account entity. With the attribute. I don't need all these things. I need telephone one. Telephone one. It will run, run, and this is pre operation. Pre operation. Register. The same way, I need to create a step for post operation. Right click, new step. This is also update. Account. This is. I need to update to, I need to update here two things three columns one is telephone one this is telephone one and CRBC new duplicate contact and there is one more column, option set. So another column is option set. Option set is not available here. Okay. Option set is not available, we can modify directly. There's no need to select. Let's have one more check. Telephone one, new duplicated. Okay. Sir? And this is the post topic. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it's, uh, at the same only we want the image process now that uh, the log file we can do. Why? Right? Because that we validate the yeah. phone numbers. Yeah, yeah. We can do. We can do. We need to add. For that, we need to write the code, right? On that one plugin. Uh, uh, yeah. In the same plugin, we need to write two more steps for the image concept. And you need to register. Sir, we have to write the code on that plugin only. Ah, on the plugin because this is completely connected to this plugin. You need to write the image code for this plugin. Then only it will work. See here, this is shared variable plugin, right? In the shared variable plugin, we are just using the shared variable code. There's no image code. Here you need to write the image code. You add two more methods. Control M more. So under execute, this is one class. So you need to add two, two more classes here. Right click, add new item and select CS class library. This is class and name it as pre image. Yeah. Now go to pre image class and write the code and post image code. Now if you if you update this code here, then you can register plugins here as a step. Pre image and post image steps. Okay. Right. Okay, okay, sir. As of, mm. Your voice is breaking, Yogesh. Hello. Yes, Yogesh, your voice is breaking. That's a question. Okay. Sir, it's, it's clear. Uh, now it's clear. No, no, it's clear. Okay. Okay, sir. If you want uh, that uh, image process, we copy that and we have paste on that only same. Yeah, plan. yeah, yeah. Same code, same code. 
we will use the combination we will use the combination of all these concepts i split okay. the concepts so that you will understand easily tomorrow if you want to implement you can implement easily in the simple game okay for okay. club everything you will be confused so conceptual wise i am taking all these are same concept plugins all the three days classes what we are discussed is plugins it's up to you how you will use in your project and your technical writer and your team lead and your manager they will explain you what they need you should implement it okay so nothing to worry if you understand the concept that is enough you can do anything you can do anything so let me i'm updating i'm saving the number uh this one i'll save this number save it i saved i modify and i'll save actually we need to reload the account because we added a columns which are not reflecting apps sales ab app there let me share the code now we got new columns so let me copy this it is modified go to accounts So we added new columns. Open the file. So shared variable pre-operation, post-operation, update of account activity. The given key was not present in the dictionary. Now, now how will you troubleshoot this one? Come on. can someone guide me this is the situation you got the error okay you got the error and you don't know anything you don't know anything the customer raised the issue when i try to save i am getting this error and he will say i am getting this logic uh, this is error this is a log file so how will you troubleshoot this one i want to hear from you auto auto plugin registration tool Okay, go to plugin registration tool. Ah, uh, then, then start with installer, sir. Profiler, profiler. Ah, uh, already installed. No, no, only once. That's one time job. We will check whether okay. installer is installed into the system or not. Yeah, it is installed. It is identified. Then start debug. How will you start the debug? First of all, select the which plugin. Yeah. So go to yes, go to the plugin. and select we are working with shared variable right 
So what I need is secure and shared variable. Shared variable. Let me go to pre-operation. This is a pre-operation. Update of account. Pre-operation. Start profiling. You typically can't start profiling. Either persist or exception. Exception. Okay. Okay. Hmm. What is the next step? Uh, the... What do you do after this? You need go to, to Visual Studio and go to Visual no, Studio. No. Attach the no, 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 no. We need to replicate this one. For that profile, we need to download the profiler. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Save it. Yes. It will download the profile. Yes. Download the log file. Open it. Save as a log. Hmm. It is under error details 36. It is download. Let it live. Let it live. Come back to plugin registration tool. Now click on debug. Select the profiler. Downloads. Error file 36. 36. 36. Yeah. 36 sir. Yes. There it is. Maybe it is downloaded desktop. Huh? Documents. Let me check where it is downloaded. Get back to app. There was code of download, sir. Folder. I can download it. The download is done. So I did not save it. We need to save. Save as downloads error data thirty six. Save. Yeah, it is saved. Get back. The downloads error data thirty six. Done. Now I need to select the assembly. So I'm working for which assembly? I need to check the path. Path, bin, debug, shade variable. Okay. Now I need to start execution. But before start execution, I need to come back to Visual Studio, debug. This is yeah. This is definite definite interview question, guys. Definite interview questions. They will ask you how to debug a plugin. Two hundred percent. This this question must you need to face this question. That's why I have been repeating this process again and again. Okay. So now come back to the plugin registration tool. Start execution. It will hit the code. It will hit the code. Yes. F10. See, this is the depth provided. Indefinite updates. This mobile phone. Hmm. Here we are working on which entity? Contact entity. But actually, we are working for about account entity. That's why it is unable to find telephone one. Obviously, telephone one will not exist in contact entity. When it not exist, the shared variable is not getting the value. So it is throwing error. So change this contact to account. Contract to account. Okay. 
and now build it build this okay so i will share these steps one is post event plugin control c no worry guys i will change all the projects all the projects at the end of this session uh, i mean i will tomorrow i'll change all the projects with the zip files so that you can practice but meanwhile i will also change the code this is pre pre shared variable pre event this is pre and post both this post now i am sending pre add these two classes and practice let me re register we got an issue we need to re register the plugin update the plugin right click update assembly update done get back to the application then try to modify the value with the existing value We need to stop the profiling, right? In order to test, stop. Fresh. It will take some time. The services need to execute, right? It will take some time to apply the newly added changes. Come to accounts. Modify. Okay, so this is the way how to debug and how to get the data. We modify the code and uh, we install. It will take some time to reflect. Okay. Class loan number. Class loan number. Class loan number. Class loan number. Two minutes, guys. Okay, uh, we will test it tomorrow uh, in the first class. The newly changes, reflected changes will be reflected and it will work, no problem. This is one thing. Okay, next concept is impersonation. Next concept is impersonation. Impersonation means transferring the roles on behalf of person, on behalf of another person. For example, uh, Bhavish. Bhavish is a sales salesperson. He don't have the administrating roles. But sometimes I need to change his role as a administrator and I need to perform some task. And then again, I need to revert his role as a salesperson. So the changing the role, the changing the role dynamically in the coding, changing the role dynamically in the coding is nothing but an impersonation. Is nothing but an impersonation. I will share the code. <clears throat> this need to be tested with both the roles, appropriate role and inappropriate role. Okay. Uh, this is very less scenario. Most of the time we don't use this one, but 
it is good to know what is impersonation create a plugin with impersonating role okay to update or assign or share the record the very rare scenario most very common scenario and rare scenario using impersonation is for example um, bavish want to update bavish want to update or bavish want to assign bavish want to assign his record to salma bavish want to assign his record to salma because bavish is going on leave for next 3 weeks bavish is going for leave for the next 3 weeks his manager told him uh, bavish please i am busy i am busy please update your please assign your records to your colleague to your colleague salman so that he will start working on your on your records so bavish tried to assign the records to the salman but it is throwing you don't have proper privileges because salman also sales person bavish also sales person if the people with the same role will have some same accesses append to they don't have the append to role append to uh, privilege so obviously bavish cannot do that one but only for the assigning of records i want to change bavish role from sales person to manager sales manager while doing that operation he will become a manager and the records will be assigned to the salman record to, will be assigned to the salman and once he assign the records again the bavish will become normal sales person normal sales person so assigning of duties or changing the responsibilities roles temporarily is known as impersonation is known as impersonation so this most of the time this will be taken care by your technical leads and system architects at your level they don't obviously they don't give such works to you okay because this is highly responsible job if you do something wrong then everything will be collapse in the system everything will be collapse in the system so actually i worked on this impersonation concept uh, i don't know where the uh, executable code in the system I, i'll try to avoid this concept most of the times so i don't give because it's very less important but no issue okay here the references are missed okay so ha here we are getting the error i plug in error bavish how will you handle this one why the i plug in interface is throwing an error if i plug in interface itself is not working then nothing will work right just what is this spelling mistake in some capital letter small letter apply it okay and once you write the i plugin it will it will ask you to implement the plugin implement interface okay what we'll do is we'll remove this i plugin code from here to here now i'll copy the code fixed context 
there's no context created here. We need to create the context. Okay, I'll do one thing. I'll fix these properties and I'll explain you tomorrow about the impersonation. And also we will execute shared variable and we'll see, okay? So before I close the session today, I want to uh, explain you about workflow, about workflow. So workflow means automation of the task, automating of the task. When this action happened, automatically do this task. When this action happened, automatically do this task. Like that, like that, uh, modifying the business logic or automating the business logic is possible with the help of workflows. Is possible with the help of workflows. Most of the time, the common scenarios, whenever an account is created, or whenever a contact is created, or whenever a lead is created, whenever I need to assign this lead to the appropriate sales team, appropriate sales team, or if if somebody modified, if somebody modified the annual revenue, or if somebody modified the credit limit, if somebody modified. Uh, your personal details, okay, date of birth, something, immediately the system need to send a mail to the customer that your data has been modified as per your consent. If you have any concern, let me know so that we'll divide the changes. That should be happen automatically. That should be happen automatically. And the workflow can be achievable without writing a single line of code. It is completely graphical interface, okay? With the help of graphical interfaces, we can do the modifications without writing code. But still, there are some requirements where we cannot achieve only with a graphical interface where we need to write some code. That is custom workflow. That is custom workflow. So in order to do certain CRUD operations in the system, I need to automate executing series of operations automatically is nothing but a workflow, workflow. Executing series of actions automatically one after the one without human intervention, without human intervention, which is automated is nothing but a workflow. This is nothing but a workflow. I will, tomorrow I'll show you uh, these two things, impersonation as well as shared variable, okay? And then we will get into the workflow concept. I'll start workflows tomorrow, okay? Um, any question, guys? Yes, yeah, everything good? Yes. Yeah. So we'll connect tomorrow. We'll connect tomorrow. And we'll see. We'll book out. Workflows. Impersonation shared variable. Okay. Right, guys. Happy day. Sir, please send the lab notes. Mm -hmm. I'll do it right now. Two days and yesterday, both. Uh, copy the messages. Once you confirm, I will leave. Kavya, Bhavesh, Yogesh, Salman, everybody. Have you? This conference will now be recorded. Myself will clear, sir. Mm. Bhavish, have you? Hope they could also done. Right, guys. Have a good day.